everybody, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> this is a bonus kind of part three, a uh, Young Living video. There's a few things that I kind of forgot. Uh, filming earlier was a little stressful, so I kind of just snuck out while everybody's watching a movie and it's after dinner time because I want to go over a few things that I forgot. So I want to go back to the influencer marketing that I had talked about in video two and just kind of clarify something um, that I had that's really important that I had forgotten to mention. Okay, so um, a lot of the Young Living um, distributors, especially the higher ups, the diamonds, the platinums, the um, royal crown diamonds and the crown diamonds, they like to portray this picture that they achieved success from almost nothing to climbing up the ladder, uh, the, the Young Living success ladder. And it's kind of a question whether or not a lot of what they say is true. I'm a little bit more inclined to believe Lindsay Moreno because she was honest about how she stacked everybody. And she has a personality type that just suggests no nonsense. So she says she stacked them. I'm more inclined to believe her now. And she's also very straightforward about the fact that she has other sources of income. Um, she's very straightforward the fact that she does a lot of writing, she did scrapbooking, she did a lot of things to make money through other avenues. So I'm more inclined to believe her story. However, there are other um, in the company, others in the company that I'm very much less inclined to believe. And I'll tell you why. Um, I'll be right back because I'm going to pull up a court case. The case I pulled up is called Young Living vs. Marin. I'm looking now, um, this is on cases.justia.com, and I actually downloaded this case. It is, first of all, let me give you a little bit of background on the case itself. It's a breach of contract case that deals with the issue of parole evidence. Typically, parole evidence is any evidence presented outside of a contract in order to change or clarify the terms of the contract that and the, the clarification or the... Um, I don't know, the interpretation does not align with the normal interpretation of the contract. Typically, parole evidence in most jurisdictions is actually not permitted. Now, this um, is a Supreme Court of uh, the state of Utah case. Young Living won this case because the um, defendant tried to bring in parole evidence for the contract, and um, the case said no. Here's why it's important. The contract is what I want to talk about. Um, usually cases like this, they have to give background information. A lot of cases will give background information. And when I found this case, I was stunned. I found it um, early on in my contracts case, but I didn't really pay attention to the um, meat of the case, to the, um, to the contract itself. I was just intrigued about the parole evidence rule because contracts, but here's the contract itself. So this guy, Carlos Marin, was a distributor of Young Living. So in January 2005, I'm just reading the top of the case. I'll actually link this in the video. In January 2005, Young Living entered into this agreement with him, um, in which case he was going to act as a distributor for the products. He would be, um, so, Let's see, <laughs> listen to this. Marin had represented that he had significant experience as a distributor in performing the duties outlined in this contract. Okay, I'm just gonna skip down. Young Living agreed to give him monthly minimum advance payments. And if I recall correctly, the amount was supposed to be um, about $15,000, yes. Young Living gave him an advance, a base salary advance of fifteen thousand dollars and then if he um, made more in commission his advance payments would be offset by any commission due under their standard commission payout plan so think about that uh, he's posing as a distributor to get to promote young living's products and is going to be given advance payments and then if the commission is higher according to the payment plan for the Young Living distributor plan, um, and I'll go over that, then he's going to get the greater of that. 
So um, now we don't need to go over the pro evidence rule. The important thing is that they had a contract in which he would promote the products in exchange for a minimum pay. Okay. What does it take? What level distributor are you going to be in order to make a base salary of 15000 a month? Well, according to this old 2015 disclosure statement for income, the person's making 15000 let's say the median and average, are at platinum. So he was posing as a platinum level distributor to make $15,000 a month. Does that sound right to you? It doesn't to me. Now, I want you to also think about this. A person by the name of, I'm going to look at my computer again, Richard Bliss Brook. If that sounds familiar, it's because he wrote a book called, let's see, The Four-Year Career. And it talks about how to work a network marketing business. Um, and he wrote several editions, one of which was for Young Living. Um, I actually have, I don't know why I have two copies, but I have two copies. I think a one was a gift, one I won and one I bought. I don't even remember. But he wrote The Four-Year Career. He also had a nutrition-based multi-level marketing company that he ended up selling to Young Living. So Young Living buys him out. And then you know what they do? They place him under a diamond by the name of Adam Green. They place him and he goes within a month of being signed up with Young Living, he goes diamond. So how does a person who just starts out with a company get to diamond in a month? You see where I'm going here with this? I'm speculating based on what I know, based on the contract in this court case that I will link, and based on what I know about how, you know, you can't just buy out a company and get something for nothing. There had to be some consideration there. So I'm speculating that Young Living strategically placed Brooke in their uh, network under Green in order to prop Green up and then in order to, um, I don't know, prop up Brooke and also to bring over Brooke's, um, any downline or any um, distributors within Brooke's organization. So I'm going to look this up right now and I'll be right back. And I'm back. So I found the PR notice um, and the company that Brooke and his wife owned was called Life Matters, a wellness company, an MLM wellness company. So I'll link that information down below and then you can go to Young Living's website and look at their um, distributor networks and you can kind of make your own conclusions because for me, I find that very intriguing. Hmm. Oh, and it also said that this uh, the sale of the company was a non-cash acquisition. Which I think is very interesting. All right, now let's talk about um, the distributor agreement. So I did not go over the compensation plan on purpose because I already had a lot of material in the other two videos that I just did not want. I just didn't want to add that in because it's really its own. It's it's its own um, conversation. So here's the 2015 distributor agreement. You could probably get this online. Um, uh oh, hold on. <laughs> Some kitties decided to sneak in even though I'm in hiding. Um, any case, uh, so I wanted to come back and talk about all those things and show you the dis uh, distributor agreements and actually go over the compensation plan. I want to backtrack a little bit to um, the influencers marketing. So I wanted to go over um, just a little bit about some of the influencers. They're really not influencers. Before influencers were too big of a thing, um, people in network marketing would do things like write books, and a lot of them do that. So if you look at a lot of the higher ups, you're probably gonna find some, some kind of training or book writing or some way that they use to make 
additional money. So that's a thing. So let's go over the comp plan. So in Young Living, in order to make any money with the company, there's a few things. So first of all, um, when you sign up with Young Living, you're under no obligation to buy anything per month, and they don't have a once a year fee. However, you have to keep your account active, and the only way to do to keep your account active if you buy nothing in a year is you have to spend at least 50 PV per year. So anytime within the year that you sign up. So if you sign up January uh, of one year, by the end of January the next year, you have to have 50 total PV in the whole year. PV means point or product value. It's very confusing. Oh, I'm sorry, personal volume. So PV means per personal volume right here. And it's almost dollar for dollar. So one PV point is almost the equivalent of $1. For some products, you don't get the full. So a, some products like the starter kit is $150, but you only get 100 personal volume points. Okay, so you only need 50 per year. Now, if you are a distributor, you have to spend $50 per month each month you um, do something that earns you a commission. So if somebody buys a kit from you, if you want to, and you get about $50 um, per kit that you sell, if you um, don't buy anything or you don't spend 50 PV in that month that you sold that kit, you won't get a check the following month. So in order to get that $50, you have to spend $50. Kind of weird. So if you sign up somebody with one kit, it's almost not worth it because you're just going to make no money. Um, and it does count against you for taxes, so it's not worth it. Now, if you want to make downline commissions, so here it goes. So this is actually, you can find this online, but if you want to make downline commissions, you have to spend $100 per month. Now, there's two, there's different levels of downline commissions. There's just the commission you can earn for the first three months, what they call a fast start, and I have that here. There's the um, fast start bonus, and um, that's when you get 25% on your new member for the first three months. So if they sign up with the premium starter kit, you get 25% on their first three months, but you're capped at 200. And a second level enroller can get 10%. You can get up to $80 uh, per new member at the second level. That's with the fee 50 PV. Um, then you get $25 cash on each kit sold. So you get $25 every time you sell a kit, i.e. every time you sell a membership. And then you can get, and then the sponsor is going to receive a percentage of that. So that's if you spend 50. 100 is on essential rewards and on downline commissions. So you get all this stuff here, but you also get unilevel commissions up to 8%. Uh, of your organization, your media organization's per, um, PV, personal volume, then you qualify for what's called the Rising Star Bonus. Now, the Rising Star Bonus is a whole other beast. It's this. So, the Rising Star Bonus is a share. Does that word sound familiar? Think Monat, the Monat shares. Well, this is a bonus. That this uh, Rising Star pool tracker is actually just a bonus pool. Um, it's not shares as in stock holding shares or anything like that. It's it's just, um, sorry, it's just my face. It's just a bonus thing. So in order to qualify, it's a bonus that only stars, senior stars and executives can earn. Um, and it's based on 1% of the Young Living Commissions. Again, this is a lot, sounds a lot like the Monat founder shares from 2018. Um, you get it's paid to you at these levels. So only if you're at a paid out as a star, a senior star, or an executive, so you can't get it if you're solar. You have to be on Essential Rewards. Essential Rewards is the monthly auto ship program, and the minimum amount you have to spend on Essential Rewards is fifty dollars per month, unless you want commissions. So if you want to get commissions, you have to actually spend a hundred dollars per month to qualify for commissions. So Essential Rewards only. Um, if you just want customer, um, if you just want to be a customer and you don't want to have a downline, then spend fifty dollars per month on essential rewards. It's just a discount program, um, and it doesn't even do anything. The only thing that you get are just 
there's really only a few. You get to, it, it accumulates points. So every dollar you spend, you get a dollar back. And then you can use the points towards products. <coughs> That's what it is. Um, but uh, any, everything else is just the same for everybody else. Oh, and I think you get a discount on shipping that you don't get on regular orders. Anyway, you have to build your legs. So a leg is a person who is under you, right? But they're also growing their, their business. So you get one share for every person who has, for the first three people that have 100 PV on Essential Rewards, you get two shares for everybody, um, for your group at 500 and for your two legs that have this, and then up to 1,000, you get three shares. So it's just a different way of earning. It's very confusing, and in order to even qualify for this, you have to have $100 every single month on the Essential Rewards Auto Ship program. So that's how you're going to qualify. So they always recommend that so you're not leaving money on the table. And the way we were taught is like, if you are going to be a uh, in Young Living and you want to hope to build a business, you want to be on Essential Rewards at $100 per month. And by 100, I mean 100 PV. You're going to spend more than 100. I think the cheapest I've ever spent was $120 <clears throat> after taxes and shipping. And uh, so they tell you it's by doing that, you're not leaving money on the table. You're spending money every month. You're spending a grand total, a minimum of 1,200 PV a year in order to qualify for these commissions. And then once you hit silver, you have your group, the group that you have sponsored, the people that you sponsored have to be at 1,000, your whole group. So you and everybody you sponsor have to be at 1,000 per month. And I know some of the higher ups up here will just buy that 1,000 per month and will take care of the 100 and the 1,000. Now, <clears throat> I don't know if this 1,000 will incorporate that 100 or if that 1,000 is on top of 100. I don't know. So I'm going to assume that it's 100 and then 1,000, but I don't know. Um, and then, of course, the higher up you get, the closer you get to these generation leadership bonuses, which are these bonuses down here. So what does it look like to you? Here's the top of the pyramid, and here's everybody below them. So um, yeah, the way Young Living goes, it's six wide. So you have to have, um, at Royal Crown Diamond, you have to have six people this way. So the six people you sponsored, and they each have to be at 35,000. Now, 35,000 per month puts them at gold. So you have to have six people in gold level under you. Um, and they each have to be um, at gold level, and then you'll get all these bonuses from them. And you only get bonuses seven people down. So. Uh, so that's how the compensation plan works. It's very, I think out of all the compensation plans I've dealt with, it's more straightforward. The only confusing thing is this essential, is this um, rising star, but everything else was pretty much, you look at it, you're like, oh, okay, I hit that level, I get that much money. And then, what is this? I never know what this is. I brought a whole bunch of things in while I was sneaking out. I don't even know what half of them are. Oh, I found a script. Class script. Oh, welcome to my Essential Rewards class. Here's three ways to use oils, topically, aromatically, and you can eat them. Oh, here's something I didn't mention. One of the selling points for Young Living that they try to make is that only Young Living can be trusted to be used um, internally. And that's because... All they're the only ones who either have it labeled as such or because their quality is seed to seal, whatever it is, it's not necessarily true. People can make that opinion, but the fact of the matter is nobody wants you eating essential oils unless you're under the supervision of a qualified medical professional or a qualified aromatherapist. Let's see, what else do I have here? Oh, yeah. They, they changed that. Oh, here's how the levels work. I have the levels here. So this is star. They we made these stars and we don't know who made them. Ah, I'm gonna block the name out. But the person who made it is the one um, in my influencer video. She's the one who um, yelled at everybody who was upset about the diaper wipes being so expensive. Um, but yeah, this is the chart. You have to, if in order to hit the star level, you have to be at 500. I actually did hit star, but that's the only rank I hit. And I, part of that was me qualifying myself by getting $300 worth of products and signing two people up. Um, 
The next level is Senior Star. And then after Senior Star, and you can see in order to get Senior Star, you have to have 2,000 sales. And then Executive. Oh, people are trying to break in, but there's Executive. Um, you have to have 4,000 in sales, and then you have to have two people under you, two legs at 1,000 each. And then here's um, Star again. And I don't think I printed out the other levels, but there are charts that you can look up. Yeah, I didn't print out the other ones. But there are charts you can look up for um, platinum, gold, silver. It, the order is, so let me give you the order. Okay, let me make sure. So the order is um, you start as a distributor, then you go to star, senior star, executive. And then after that, you go to silver, gold, platinum, and then you go to diamond, crown diamond, and royal crown diamond. And once you hit this level, you get your own um, special line to call for customer service. And then once you get to this level, not only do you get your special line, you get access to and regular meetings with the CEO. So diamonds were always talking to Gary and Mary Young. As a matter of fact, I remember seeing a recording of a, of, of a meeting they had with him. All right. So that's just the bonus I wanted to go over. If I have anything else, I'll put it up in another video. I will talk to you soon. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye!